So I wanted to make a quick little ProPresenter tutorial here. This is something that I've been trying to figure out how to do now for a little while. Maybe some of you already know this, maybe this is common knowledge uh, to you, but uh, finding it online, finding the information on how to actually uh, export a stage screen as um, like a template that you can then import into another version of ProPresenter, um, that information is actually kind of hard to find online. So I wanted to make a dedicated tutorial so that if people are trying to export their stage screens, they're gonna be able to do it really quickly and really easily. So let's talk about importing a stage screen uh, into ProPresenter and then also let's talk about exporting one as well. Basically this is just a simple workaround that I can't believe I haven't even thought of before uh, but basically in order to export a stage screen you have to then turn that stage screen into a theme and then you can export the theme. And the same thing for importing. You import a theme and then you turn it into a stage screen. So let me show you how to do exactly that. So the process for this would start out just like any other theme. You'd go to file, then you go to import, and then you hit file. And then you pick the theme that you wanna import, which is this theme that I created, stage screen template and I'm gonna hit import. And then now that theme is in my list of themes right here. This is my new theme. So I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna hit edit on that theme. So now that I've opened this theme, I'm in the theme editor currently, but now I just need to get all this into the stage editor. And so in order to do that, I actually just select everything on the screen and then hit command C to copy everything. And then now I'll move over to my stage editor. And once I do that, I'll hit plus and create a new blank stage screen. And then from there, I'll just hit Command V and paste everything. And so now I have my new stage screen that I took from our other computer that's running ProPresenter in the sanctuary. Also, another little piece of information that you may find helpful, if you imported a new stage screen or created a new stage screen, and now you want that to be your default stage screen you see right here, um, it's still using the default stage screen that came with ProPresenter. Uh, if I want that to be my active stage screen, all you have to do is go up to screens and then go to stage screen one and just select your new stage screen, which is still named blank. You can change the name of your stage screen so that it's not blank, but there it is. Now, real quickly to talk about how to export a stage screen. If you have a stage screen that you like, but you want to get it to another computer or you wanted to send it to someone else, how do you export it? Well, it's pretty much the same process, just reverse. Now, if I go back to my stage editor and I wanted to then export this, all I have to do is then select everything on this stage screen, Command C to copy, and then go now to my theme editor. And then in my themes, just create a new theme. So here's my new theme. I can delete this text layer. And then from here, I can then just paste again everything that I copied over from that stage screen. And then I can go in here and export this just like I would export a theme. And the way to do that is to just go up to file. Then you can hit export and you can hit export themes. So it defaults to all the themes being exported, but you can just select none and then you can come down and choose the one that you just created and named. Make sure to name it so you can find it on this list and then you can just hit export and then choose the location that you want to export it to. And this stage screen that I used in this example is one that I actually created custom for my church. Uh, it has a lot of great features. It has the chord charts that is synced up with multi-tracks, uh, which is a new feature that ProPresenter just uh, updated with multi-tracks. Uh, it shows exactly what part of the song you're on if you're on a verse or chorus it shows the current slide text and then the next slide text and at the bottom of the screen it shows the time along with the current uh, playlist item that you're on and then the next playlist item that you're on so you can see what song you're currently on and then the next song that's coming up right after it and I'm actually giving this template away for free so if you click the link in the description below you can actually download this as a theme and go through the same setup process that I just laid out here and you can import this theme and create a stage screen for you and your team to use and if you end up downloading the stage screen and using it in your church I'd love for you to leave a comment let me know if you're using it and then after a few weeks let me know how you like it if you've enjoyed using it uh, what your thoughts are on it and uh, you know if you have any ideas for maybe tweaking this stage screen to be better utilized uh, for your worship services and for your worship team anyway with that being said thanks for watching i really do appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next video so the first step is to go up to file then to import i'm not recording 
I need to record my screen so you know what I'm doing. So let's hop into ProPresenter here. 